My name's David. I'm the general manager for Earth Power. I've been here for seven years. Um, what Earth Power does, we receive food wastes. We make green electricity and fertilizer. We get a whole range of different food wastes. We get liquid food wastes, grease traps, spadeable sludges, uh, solid waste, which comes from supermarkets or produce markets, from restaurants. And we get packaged waste, which can come from uh, cool rooms, for example, or the back end of uh, food manufacturers that may have product that's uh, off spec for some reason. The food wastes uh, arrive on site in trucks. We uh, meet and greet the trucks, unload them. Uh, the different types of waste we put into different parts of our process. So we have a, a dedicated area for liquid uh, waste and grease trap uh, receival. Uh, we have a dedicated sludge receival area. We have an area for solid wastes and packaged wastes. Once we've received the waste, we've got to prepare it for our anaerobic digesters. Uh, that's about making the food waste break down into a fine pulp and also removing the contaminants. Uh, the type of contaminants I'm talking about are plastics, plastic films, soft packaging. Uh, we prepare the food waste, we make it into a pulp which is pumpable, we then feed that into our anaerobic digesters. Inside the anaerobic digesters there are microbes, they eat the food waste and create biogas. Biogas is predominantly methane. Uh, we send the biogas to internal combustion engines. They use that as a fuel source to drive alternators to create the electricity. On average, we're producing about 1.2 megawatt hours of electricity per hour. Each year we're exporting about eight to 9,000 megawatt hours of electricity. The digested food waste we send to a dewatering process. We separate out the water fraction. We treat it on site to a level that's acceptable to Sydney water to discharge into their sewer system. The digested food solids we take through to a drying process. We use the waste heat from the generators, the exhaust heat, which is running at 430 degrees Celsius, to, as a heat source to dry the sludge and make fertilizer, which is suitable to go back to growing more food. And food manufacturers should come to us to get the best uh, environmental outcome for their food wastes. We're one of the only facilities that can take food waste, create green electricity, and fertilizer suitable to going back to grow more food. So we really achieve a cradle to cradle outcome. Compare that to landfill, people talk about cradle to grave. Um, you know, this is where you take a resource, you put it in a, in, in a landfill, and those resources are almost lost forever. So we have a true cradle to cradle solution here.